We are year on year down 3.4% on our distributions per share. Um, so we will be distributing 21.038 cents per share. This is the first time in eight years that we haven't shown any growth in our distribution. Um, but uh, as I say, the, the, that is the market. Our NAV conservative at 221 cents per share. Very important to us here is our LTV 36.3% um, and interest cover ratio sitting at 2.9%. I think it's very, very important that, that, that as our shareholders you need to understand in this market the key metrics are your vacancy percentages, your arrears, strong cash flows, LTVs and your interest cover ratios. And looking at our results you'll see all of those are, are, are well positioned going into a bear market. So this is what we call uh, our, our key objectives. Everybody asks us how do we achieve our growth in, in distributions. These are the key objectives or some of the key objectives that we focus on. So you'll notice our LTV is uh, sitting at 36.3%. Post the sale of Tokai that should reduce to 31%. Um, our average growth on renewals is up from half a percent to three uh, to just over three percent. Um, very important is 75 percent of our business are nationals and 83 percent of our business consists of nationals and fran franchises and professionals which further de-risks our income stream. Tenant retention is high sitting at around 73 um, percent and I'll talk to vacancies further on but our team um, was able to reduce vacancies um, right, the, right the way down to close to 3% post year end. I think what's very, very, very important to note is that Fairvest was able to fund all its operational expenditure and interest rate from cash flows without having to utilize any undrawn facilities. And I think that's uh, a key point uh, to our management and supportive approach that we've had in COVID-19. Look, our tenants are struggling. Times are tough. Um, we've got tough economic headwinds. We've got adequate provisions against our uh, deferrals. Um, and we've got further provisions for further, um, further credits that may be required um, as a result of, of COVID-19. So let's have a look at our strategy. We've always differentiated ourselves through performance rather than size, and I think that's a key. I think if you draw, if you look back at all our presentations, we've always said we will differentiate ourselves by performance rather than size. So we've never acquired an asset for the sake of size. Um, and I really think in a tough market like this, when you've overpaid for assets, this is when you're going to start seeing uh, really who's overpaid and who, who hasn't overpaid. So really that part of our strategy has really come through for us uh, uh, during the, these, these tough periods. Um, you will see as we go through the slide, our balance sheet remains very, very conservative. But most important is we're going to change our behavior. So in a bull market, it's completely different to a bear market. It's a completely different management style. And our asset management team and our property management teams and our executive teams have to change our behavior. Your focus has to be collection of rentals and letting of vacant space. And most important, building a very, very strong relationship with your tenants because in a tough market, it's far more expensive to lose a tenant than to retain tenants. Just having a look at um, uh, our current performance, Assets are up to three and a half billion, market cap slightly down, one and a half billion. Um, value of our assets are up at 79 million, so we've improved the size and quality of our assets. Um, and I think, as I said before, I alluded to it before, we've now proven to the market, face, uh, market that performance far outweighs size. This is our arrears number. Um, I don't think it's bad for, for where we are. We have crept up to 4.4% from our all-time low of 1.3%. But in June, this was, there was a lot of noise in these numbers. Um, there were some credits that were due to tenants that we hadn't passed. 
So it's not an accurate reflection of, of our rears, but it's as, as, uh, uh, close enough. What I can report is post the reporting period, that number has now been reduced close to 4%. Um, so again, a very, very simple business. We collect our rentals and we let space. We do both and we do both well. Just to recap, we've improved the quality of our asset base. We've reduced vacancies um, to close to 3, 3.2%. We've outperformed the index. We have strong cash flows to protect our balance sheet. We have a strong balance sheet. Uh, well, I should say our LTV is sitting at 36.3. That will again be reduced to 31% post the sale of, of Tokai. Um, and it's clear here from this slide that we're trading at a 31 or 32 percent discount to uh, to our NAV, and we honestly believe this is the perfect time to invest in Fairvest in a market like this.